subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel now first up let me just discuss some of the key specifications that matter this tablet weighs 1.15 pounds it has an intel pentium 4415y gold series cpu intel graphics HD 615, a 1200 by 1800 pixel sense display, which means that it can operate with this pen rather easily and you don't need to plug it into anything. It just works out of the gate. This does have a eight megapixel camera on the rear. It has rated up to nine hours of battery life and a front five megapixel camera, dual front facing speakers and micro USB or micro SD card slot expansion. And you also do have one USB-C port here on the side, a proprietary charger, but you can charge it through USB-C, so that does help out, and a nice hinge design for the device. So that's pretty much all the specs that matter. I wanted to get those out of the way really quickly before I get into why I'm returning this device. Now let me make one thing clear. We're gonna solely focus on the Microsoft Surface Go here in this video. No iPads being mentioned. I did a comparison between those two, so let's keep it focused here on this product alone. Now, let's talk about the design first of all. And let me tell you, the reason I'm returning it is not the design. The design is beautiful on this device. The bezels, yes, a little bit thick, but I could live with that because this device feels like a thousand bucks when it comes to its material. Got that nice magnesium on the rear, and you do have a beautiful hinge that goes all the way back, just like the new surfaces do, and uh, really puts it in line with its other products. So in terms of build quality, feels ultra premium and it should for what you're going to pay with the accessories for this device so build quality is nice it's pretty light not quite as light as some other devices but it's still pretty light so i i do like the build quality overall and that's not the reason i'm returning it so if you're buying this solely for a premium feeling device you're not going to beat this in this price category on most laptops or budget style laptops this is one of going to be one of the best options especially when you combine it with this nice alcantara you know, type cover. So this comes with Windows 10 S out of the box. I did switch it over to Windows 10, the full version, because that who wants to use that Windows 10 S version with no ability to install Google Chrome or Firefox or some other browser or Photoshop off the internet. People want to download these programs. So definitely you want to go ahead and switch over for free if you get a Surface Go right away. The software performance on this device is one of the major factors why I'm returning this device. I do have the four gig of RAM version, so you could say just get the eight gig. That's not gonna change the fact you have an Intel Pentium CPU in here. That's really what's slowing this device down here is that Intel Pentium processor. Now, everyday light tasks are actually not bad for the surface. It seems to perform swiftly and just fine. But I had two Google Chrome tabs open and this thing crashed immediately. And that was enough for me to say, I'm returning this device because when I get into my workflow and I was just testing it, but when I get into some real work and I need to pull this out and it needs to be quick, it's not gonna do that for me. So if you're looking for that kind of you know speed, you're definitely not gonna get it here for the surface. Again, most people know what to expect when getting this, but it's actually a little worse than I thought when it comes to performance. It's actually quite sluggish. Paint crashed on me while I was doing a drawing and I lost that work. So imagine doing a drawing and losing your work just because of the performance on a, a device. Again, consider I am using the four gig of RAM version, however. Let's discuss the battery life here. Rated at nine hours, not even getting close to that in the real world. I topped out at about six hours of usage on best performance mode and putting it on better battery life, you might get close to nine hours, but then your device is ultra slow on the better battery life mode. And not every time you're gonna be running on low brightness, especially if you're in university and there's lights on in the, in the library or in your classroom, you're, you're gonna need the brightness up so you can see this display. So other than just some video watching, if you're actually using it and doing multiple things on here, this is gonna run you about six hours of battery life. So it's not quite as good as you know the nine hours it's claimed. So this is a huge factor as to why I'll be returning this device. So can this device game? And the answer is yes, depending on what you're gaming with. This can game easily from the Windows App Store. These games will run just fine. But if you're gonna be downloading games that are really large in size and they require a lot of graphical power and you wanna put like games off the internet on here, like download your own games, you're gonna run into some huge performance losses. So if you're gonna be doing gaming, my suggestion is to go ahead and just game from the apps that you can get in the Microsoft Store, which is not a ton, but there's plenty enough to have some fun 
on here. So yes, this device can game, not a factor why I'm returning it as I'm not a huge gamer. So discussing the camera, I'm not returning this for the camera. I actually did a Skype call and it actually looked very clear on both sides, eight megapixel camera and it had a five megapixel on the front. Things turn out rather nice here. It still does do a pretty decent photo for a tablet. It's not gonna be an amazing photo. Definitely don't shoot your YouTube videos with this one, but taking some document scanning, doing some you know, Skype calling, that stuff will be just fine with these cameras. So definitely not returning it for that fact. Good cameras here for this device overall, I think. Discussing the portability factor, this is a pain point of me returning. I actually don't wanna return it for the, the portability. This is a really light and you know cute, fun surface tablet here on this device. So in terms of portability, it's gonna be great. It's very light, even with the Alcantara cover, it's gonna be a lot lighter than some of the other you know tablets you can get on the market the ipad is lighter but like if you're talking about the surface pro i'm talking about or if you're talking about like an ipad pro 12.9 this guy right here is definitely rather small and i think a lot of people are going to enjoy that so frequent travelers will definitely like what the surface pro offers up when it comes to that portability factor here very light very small and that is definitely a thumbs up for the surface go the keyboard attachment is super durable here on this device. I do want to mention that. And there's so much flexibility with how you can use this tablet. So you can go down like this. You can go down even further and it just keeps going down. You can also pull the keyboard out or type on a flat surface if you would like, like so. Or you can bring it up on a more angled surface here. So you definitely have quite a bit of options here when it comes to that design. Also, this does have micro SD card expansion as you can see right here, I do have a 128 gigabyte card in there and the pen works very well with this device as well. Palm rejection is not the best I've seen, but still it's not bad whatsoever for the Surface Go. It pops off really easily, but it doesn't fall off when it's in there. You can see it's, it's not going nowhere. So very good quality there with the accessories. So the accessories are kind of a must with this device, which jacks the price up to a territory that's kind of not really, I think, worth it for the processor you get in this device. This device gives you that Pentium. One nice thing, another nice thing about the Surface Go is that the pen just kind of attaches there onto the device and you don't have to you know, plug it into the side of the device to charge it or anything like that, it just works. If you get the Microsoft Surface Go mouse, this thing actually does have AAA batteries and it turns on just by one click like so and you can operate it with a mouse. So that's a pretty nice feature right there. And one thing I do want to mention is that the Edge browser works so much better on this tablet than the Chrome. So you might not even want to download Chrome. So if you're a Chrome user, this is not going to be a great device. The four gigs of RAM can't hold much in the background. So don't expect to hold an incredible amount in the background with the Surface Go at four gigs of RAM. You're going to want the eight gig of RAM. The general user interface, as you can see right here, is definitely fast enough. So I don't think I have a problem with the general user interface, you're seeing it looks very fast here on the video, but it's really nice having a desktop experience on this small of a tablet, but because the desktop environment is kind of more optimized for a larger display, this feels a little bit too small sometimes for that aspect. And that's where I think the Surface Pro hits home a little bit better. Even though it's a bit, a bit larger, it seems better suited for a desktop environment. USB-C is nice that you can charge through it and the brick does charge this device very fast, I do have to mention. Buttons are very tactile on this device and the accessories, buttons on all the accessories, if you get them, they're all very tactile and very high quality. And the PixelSense tech works extremely well with this pen. So I think you're gonna like this display when it comes to the pen experience. But again, I like I say, I was drawing and it already crashed on me just using Paint 3D. Imagine if you're doing Photoshop or you're doing something a little bit more intensive, this thing's gonna spaz out on you a couple times. So basically in this video, I tried to explain to you everything I liked about this tablet, everything I disliked about this tablet. I think that for 399 bucks, you can definitely do better than this in terms of performance. I think the major selling point here is the portability of a Surface. You haven't seen one this small, really. And, you know, just getting into the Surface ecosystem at a much cheaper price than the Surface Pro is definitely compelling. But when you start to use this every day, you see why this is the budget version. And 
that's something that you don't really expect in 2018. You kind of expect to get, you know, there's a lot of budget phones, for example, a lot of budget tablets that are a lot better performing. So at the final conclusion, I'm returning it because it doesn't meet my needs. That doesn't mean it won't meet your needs. I think if you're a light user and you're you're patient, I don't have patience like that for, you know, a little bit slow performance. But if you got patience, this will be fine. Um, if you if you know you're just going to be watching a couple movies, web browsing just a little bit, and you're not, you, you don't need the fastest, most blazing quick device in the world you're really going to enjoy this device. And also, if you're a frequent traveler who wants the, the lightest possible surface you can get with a desktop environment, you'll really enjoy this and also has a nice uh, fashion accessories to go along with it. Burgundy keyboard, burgundy pen, burgundy mouse, and you can get the blue, you can get the silver. There's a lot going on here for this device on the outside of the processor, but the processor is the main reason why I have to head back to the store and return this device right here so i end it with that that's the surface go that's why i am returning it but like i say light users moderate users this will still be just fine for you but anybody like me who's going to be doing video editing photo editing going to be doing anything a little bit heavier steer clear of the surface go but if not this could be a great option for you let me know your thoughts down below what you think about the surface go are you picking one up did you get one and you returned it? Let us know in the comments section. Share that with the community, your experiences. It helps everybody out as they read the comments and they can like learn from you as well, not just the YouTuber creating the video. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, click that like button for me. And if you're new here,